Number one tells us that we have a triangle with side lengths of 8, 15, and 17. So it first wants us to verify that this is a Pythagorean triple, meaning that the three side lengths are all whole numbers, which they are, so no decimals. But then they also satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, which remember is C squared should equal A squared plus B squared. And 17 squared is 289. 8 squared is 64, and 15 squared is 225, and 64 plus 225 is 289. Um, so 17 squared does equal 15 squared plus 8 squared, so it is a Pythagorean triple. Next, now that we know that it's a right triangle, now we want to estimate the acute angles in this triangle. So first thing I'm going to do is just draw a little picture of a of a right triangle here and label the sides. So um, the hypotenuse is going to be 17, the shorter leg is 8, and then the longer leg is 15. I'm just going to name um, one of the angles here, so I'm just going to call this angle A, and I'm going to work on finding the measure of this angle first. So I'm going to label the sides here, um, and you can do whichever two sides you want, and you're going to use your right triangle table. So I'm just going to do this first column of adjacent over hypotenuse, so that I can just look in the first column. So the hypotenuse is the 17, and the adjacent is the 15. So when I do the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse in this triangle, I am taking the 15 and dividing it by the 17. And when we do 15 divided by 17, we get a decimal of 0 0.882. So if we take a look here in this first column, um, we can look for a number that is close to 0 0.882. And so we see that 0 0.882 will be between these two numbers here. So we see 0 0.886 and 0 0.766. So we know um, that angle A is going to be somewhere between 30 and 40. 0.882 is closer to 0.886, so I'll maybe guess that it's about 32 degrees. And remember, you're just guessing, so you can be around there, 32, 33, 34, something like that. Then when we go to find a, the other angle, okay, remember that these two angles total 90 degrees. So I'll just do 90 minus 32. Um, and that's going to give me 58 degrees for the approximation of the other angle. Number two, Kieran is flying a kite. He gets tired, so he stakes the kite in the ground. The kite is on a string that's 18 um, feet long. So we see that string here at 18 feet long and that that string makes a 30 degree angle with the ground. So how high is the kite? And so we're wanting to find um, this side here. And so now we know that it's a 30, 60, 90, since it's got a 90 degree angle with that 30, we know this one is 60. And so remember that the short leg or the one across from the 30 degree angle is half the hypotenuse. Um, so this height right here is going to be equal to 18 divided by 2. So the height of the kite is 9 um, feet. Number 3, triangle ABC has a right angle at C. Select all the measurements that would mean its hypotenuse has a length of 10. Okay, so we're wanting to find the stuff that would force this to be a 10. Um, so let's take a look here. If angle A were 20, so if this was 20 and BC was 2, would that work together? So now the 2 is the opposite side. Okay, so we have the opposite side is 2. And they're telling us that the hypotenuse, they're, they're wanting the hypotenuse to be 10. So the hypotenuse... Um, the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So 2 divided by 10 is 0.2. So then let's look in our table at the opposite divided by the hypotenuse for a 20 degree angle. So we know we're at a 20 degree angle and here's what the opposite divided by the hypotenuse should be. 
ours is 0.2, so this um, information is not going to work. Um, part B says that if we, ha what if we had AC at seven and BC at three? So now we've got the three sides and we could try this in Pythagorean theorem. So we know that three squared plus seven squared should equal the 10 squared. And three squared is nine, seven squared is 49, that's 58. And 10 squared is 100. So that's not going to work. Um, next one has, what if angle B was 50 degrees and side BC was four? So now in comparison to this angle, side BC is the adjacent side, and then that 10 is still the hypotenuse. So when I do the adjacent side of four divided by the hypotenuse of 10, that gives me a decimal of 0.4. So let's look at adjacent divided by hypotenuse for our 50 degree angle. So adjacent divided by hypotenuse for a 50 degree angle should be 0.643. We have 0.4, so those don't match. Part D says that angle A is 30 degrees and side BC is five degrees. So this one, if this would be a 30, 60, 90, okay, which it is if this is 30, then the short side should be half the hypotenuse. So the five is half of 10, so this one is good. You could also check it using your right triangle table if you wanted. Um, the five is the opposite, so we have the opposite over the hypotenuse here. Opposite being five, hypotenuse being 10, gives us a decimal of 0.5. And then if I check the 30 degree angle, opposite over hypotenuse is 0.5, so that part matches as well. So that um, information is good. And then um, part E, if AC is eight units and BC is six, would this work? So again, this is a Pythagorean theorem since we've got all three sides. So take a look at six squared, which is 36, plus eight squared, which is 64. That gives us 100, which is what 10 squared is. So E works as well. Number four, what's a reasonable approximation for angle B if the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse is 0.45? So we're gonna look in the adjacent hypotenuse category and we're looking um, for close to a 0.45. So 0.45 is here between 0.34 and 0.5. So it's going to be um, bigger than 60 degrees and less than 70. So that leaves us here at 63 degrees. Number five, estimate the values to complete the table. So remember that um, the adjacent and divided by hypotenuse and opposite divided by hypotenuse in complementary angles or angles that add to 90, which A and C do we'll just switch, okay? So the adjacent divided by hypotenuse for A is 0.31, so for C it's gonna be 0 0.31 for the opposite over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse for A, or sorry, opposite over hypotenuse for A is 0.95, so that's gonna be the adjacent over hypotenuse for C. So these two just switch columns. Then um, for this final one, you do the one with the opposite. So 0 0.31 divided by the one with the adjacent, so 0.95. So take 0 0.31 divided by 0 0.95 in your calculator. And then you'll get um, 0 0.326 or 33 for this one. Number six, what's the length of side AB? So here we're looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And so you can use those right triangle tables if you want to. You can also um, remember that the short leg and the long leg in a 30, 60, 90 triangle have a skill factor of square root of three. 
So we would take the longer leg and divide it by the square root of three to get the shorter leg. So AB is gonna equal the long leg divided by the square root of three. So you could do six over square root three for that answer. Um, if you need to rationalize your radical, you could also multiply top and bottom by square root three. So then on the top, you get six square root three. On the bottom, you get square root of nine, which is three. Then you could divide six by three here to get two square root three. So this would be the simplified radical version. Okay, this would be another version. And then you could do the decimal version as well um, and just do a decimal of um, 3.46. So kind of all of those are acceptable answers. Number seven, what is the length of the square's side? So remember a square um, takes and splits these 90 degree angles into two equal angles. So this is 45, this is 45, and this is 90. So the legs are gonna be the same size and they are a square root two factor smaller than the hypotenuse. So we'll take the hypotenuse and divide by square root two to get these legs. So the legs are gonna be six divided by um, square root two, which is B. All right, then number eight asks us to find the lengths of AD and BD. So uh, here's BD, and you hopefully see that that is a missing leg in this little green right triangle and that you know the other two sides. So we'll be able to do Pythagorean theorem here by doing 13 squared is equal to 12 squared um, plus BD squared. So 13 squared is 169, 12 squared is 144. We'll subtract 144 from both sides and we get 25 equals BD squared, whoops and then square root both sides and we get five for BD. So then when we go to find AD, um, hopefully you remember that when you drop a, an altitude to the hypotenuse from a right triangle, that it splits up this hypotenuse into proportional pieces. So we can set up a um, proportion here so we have AD divided by the altitude of five will equal five divided by 12. So then we can cross multiply and divide. So then AD is gonna equal 25 um, divided by 12. So 25 divided by 12 is um, about 2.1. And so then that gets us this piece here. Um, of 